Hello, I'm Jesse from the Envision Maker Studio, and today we're going over the basics of the vacuum former. In order to use the former, you will first need to watch this tutorial and complete a short test. Afterwards, you can turn on the vacuum former by swiping your card on the card reader located near the machine. Remember that you must use safety goggles while operating this machine. Swiping the card reader activates the fluorescent lights and the heating element located at the top of the machine. If the fluorescent lights are on, the heating element is also on. Be careful, because it's hot. Insert your material in between the metal clamp. Close the clamp and tighten the bolts in order to create a secure lock. Loosen the two handles by rotating them counterclockwise, and raise the clamp as close to the heating element as possible. Your plastic will now begin to heat. Sometimes, removing the plastic cast from your mold can be difficult. If you would like to make your cast easier to remove, you can coat your mold with a mold release, such as soapy water. Place the mold that you wish to vacuum form onto the platform. As the plastic is heated, it will begin to contort in predictable ways. Initially, it will wrinkle and sag slightly. This is followed by the plastic briefly returning to its original shape. After heating a little while longer, the plastic sheet will sag a second time. When this second sag is approximately two and a half inches deep, with fairly uniform curvature, the plastic is ready to be cast over your mold. To do so, turn on the shop vacuum, which is located below the machine. Loosen the handles by turning them both counterclockwise and smoothly low it over your mold. The suction from the shop vacuum will cause the heated plastic to form around the mold, creating the negative of the mold shape. After allowing your new plastic cast to cool for a moment, Loosen the screws on the tray and remove your mold and cast from the platform. Turn off the machine by pressing end on the card reader. The lights will go out, but the heater will still be hot. Be careful. Due to the nature of vacuum forming, it's important to understand what shapes are best formed by this process. Objects which become thinner as their height increases and which lack overhangs are best suited for this process. This is because overhangs cause the heated material to be formed around and under the object's top. This makes it impossible to remove the object without destroying the mold or destroying the cast. Mist Trapezoid is a perfect example of an ideal object for vacuum forming. When placed on the platform in this manner, she can be easily removed from her cast. Remove your mold from the cast that you have just created. Use a razor blade or an X-Acto knife to assist in the removal process if necessary. And remember to always wear gloves when using blades in the Maker Studio. And there you have it. You're now ready to start vacuum forming. Remember that there are always staff in the Envision Maker Studio that can help you out if you forget any of these steps or if you would just like some advice. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and we'll see you next time.